This is the Sarah Dietschy Moment Lab 22 collaboration. Sarah got in contact with me and sent me these review units. Now these are final production units. This video is sponsored by NordPass. These are three high quality desk accessories, an iPad stand, an iPhone stand, and a headphone stand. They are all made out of aluminum. They come in three different colors, black, silver, and white. Let's start by talking about the Infinity Adjust Stand. This is a magnetic stand for the iPad. There are two different versions of this, one for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and another for the 11 inch iPad Pro and 10.9 inch iPad Air. The version I have here is for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Like I mentioned, this is a magnetic stand, so it attaches really easily. There's no clamping mechanism. It's an extremely strong magnet, so your iPad isn't gonna fall off or anything like that. When you connect your iPad, there is a microfiber material on the stand where it connects. This way you don't have metal on metal contact and your iPad doesn't get scratched up. It's a very nice touch and very well thought out. There's a reason why this is called the Infinity Adjust Stand. The iPad can adjust via height, angle, and rotation. This means you can have it up high, like a normal iPad stand in vertical mode, but then you can bring it down low in a drawing canvas in landscape. It also has a weighted base, so that means when you go to remove your iPad, the stand doesn't come with it and come crashing down. It stays in its spot. It also means if you're drawing or tapping on the iPad display, there's no wobble. Honestly, I've tested a lot of iPad stands and this is the thing most iPad stands tend to get wrong. They don't include some kind of weighted base. So when you tap on the screen or you're drawing on the screen, there's a lot of wobbling. And since the Affinity Adjust Stand has a very heavy weighted base, that problem is not here at all. There's a whole bunch of use cases for this. So the first is just having a notepad next to you. It's at a nice angle. You can grab your Apple Pencil. You can write right on the screen. Super, super convenient. It's also a great drawing canvas. So if you're a storyboard artist, somebody that paints or draws for a living, like you do a lot of work with the Apple Pencil, you can put this at the angle you want and have like a nice sturdy base and just draw. All the adjustment points are stiff, but not immovable. And why you want this is so like, if you're drawing and you're like at the top part of your iPad, it doesn't end up collapsing in on itself. The way I've been using it the most is right next to my monitor. So with iPadOS 16.2, external monitor support has been added back in to this. And so I've been using this next to my monitor so I can have a dashboard of widgets there so I can be working on my monitor, look over, see my task manager, see my calendar, weather app, time tracking, uh, trigger shortcut, whatever. It's just really nice to have side by side. But if I need to display something on the iPad's display, I can do that as well. So one thing I did was when I was editing my big iPad OS 16 walkthrough, I was working on my studio display, but put the iPad in the stand and I put it in portrait mode and I put my script up there. So that way when I was editing B-roll, I could be like, okay, these are top down shots. These are B-roll shots because I, I mix things up into different folders. It's very confusing, but just know like the way I edit, it's very helpful to have my script right next to me. Now where I can see this being really handy is for somebody that like, if you're working on a big legal document or any sort of big document or something like that, you can have the document up next to your monitor where you're working. I still needed to charge my iPad, but if I had put it so that the port was on the bottom, there would have been no way for me to plug my iPad in. But since it rotates 360 degrees, I can put it so that the charging port is facing up and I just plugged in a USB-C cable like that. Super convenient. And if you're using a Mac next to your iPad, that obviously means you can use universal control, which is just a beloved feature. I don't know anyone that actually doesn't like it. Universal control is you're sitting at your Mac with a keyboard and mouse, and you can actually move the mouse over to the iPad and start controlling things on the display. Super cool, super handy. So even when I'm working on my Mac, like editing a video or something like that, I put the iPad in the stand and keep it next to my screen and I can just move the mouse over and I can, you know, deal with something in my task manager, start time tracking, run a shortcut, that kind of stuff. 
The other thing I thought of, obviously not something I do, but I like when I was playing around with it, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for this a payment terminal. So if you're somebody that has like, you know, like uses an iPad to like pay for things and you don't have like one of those square stands or whatever, you could put it in this stand. And the way it works is you can be doing your thing on the iPad and you can flip it over so the person on the other side of you could use it as well. Really nice. I absolutely love how adjustable this stand is. Like I said, you can bring it down low using it as a drawing canvas, bring it up high to display documents, use it as a second display, or even as your main display. If you just wanna pair a keyboard and mouse with your iPad and you wanna just use that, you don't wanna use an external monitor, you absolutely can. And what's nice is it tilts back really far back, in fact, all the way back, so that you can use it at any viewing angle you want. Now, that being said, the Infinity Adjust Stand is not the tallest magnetic iPad stand I've ever used. Having it be a little taller would be nice, but also I have to keep in mind that like the taller you make an iPad stand, the more wobble you're gonna get when you like start tapping on the screen or doing it like something with a pencil. So you gotta kind of keep that in mind. So it's there's a balancing act there, and I think they struck a good balance. This video is sponsored by NordPass. NordPass is a place where you can store all of your sensitive information in an encrypted vault. When I worked in IT, one of my biggest policy changes was to uh, make passwords more secure, basically getting rid of the tacos one, two, three. The problem when you're using secure passwords, that means that you have to have a different login for every website and service you use, and no one's gonna be able to remember all of that. Well, that's where NordPass comes in. You can store passwords, notes, credit cards, personal information, and more in NordPass. NordPass uses strong encryption to make sure you are the only one able to access that information. When signing up for a service, you can store the login information right in NordPass. NordPass will also offer you a strong, unique password for that service. So that way, if the website you are logging into is compromised, all of your other login information for other sites isn't compromised as well. Speaking of being compromised, NordPass has a data breach scanner built into it. This is so that if your information is a part of a data breach, NordPass can inform you about that and you can make the appropriate changes quickly. If you work with a group of people, sharing credentials is very common. And you can do this via NordPass. This way you're not emailing people passwords. And if your email was to get compromised, then those hackers would then get access to those other passwords. Go to nordpass.com forward slash Christopher Lolly to get a three month free trial. My thanks to NordPass for sponsoring this video. All right, let's talk about the iPhone stand. So the iPhone stand uses a MagSafe connection. This charges the iPhone at 10 watts. There's also a wireless charger in the base for something like AirPods, and this is a five watt charger. When your iPhone is in the stand, you can tilt it back so that you can have a good viewing angle of your phone. This is really nice because there's no clamping mechanism. It uses MagSafe, so that means you can rotate it. So this works out really well for doing video calls. We all know the iPhone has the best front-facing camera, like way better than the Max, like the Max webcam. What's going on there? Anyways, so what I've been doing when I've had some video calls lately, instead of like doing it on my, my studio display or even my iPad, I've just been taking the iPhone, rotating it 90 degrees on the iPhone stand and doing video calls that way. So I have a really good camera. I'm not taking up a like a spot in stage manager on my iPad or anything like that. It's just kind of off to the side and I can chat with people. Super handy. And on top of that, it keeps your iPhone charged. And if you want to take it a step further though, if you have Mac OS Ventura, you can actually use the iPhone as your webcam via continuity camera. So this way you can actually still be on your Mac having the video call, but use your iPhone as the webcam. One thing I did do is I put double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of the iPhone stand. I was finding when I was taking off the iPhone stand, the way I was grabbing it, the iPhone stand was kind of coming with it a little bit, like it was moving forward a bit, and I want it to stay in place. So I put double-sided sticky tape on the bottom, so that way it just stays in the proper spot. The other really nice thing about like vertical iPhone stands like this is if you're using an iPhone 14 Pro with the always on display, you can see the clock. 
your widgets, notifications, live activities right there without having to like look down or find your phone. Like my phone when I'm at my desk is always in this stand and I can just glance over and be like, hey, there's the time. There's my notifications. There's what I have on my task list for today. And you would think be like, oh, hey, Chris, on the Mac, like the clock is in the top right corner. It is, but I work from the iPad primarily. Even with external monitor support, the clock is very, very tiny on the iPad. So it's nice to have kind of like a bigger clock next to me. Just like with the iPad stand, the iPhone stand has this microfiber material where the phone connects. So again, you don't have metal on metal. Nothing is gonna scratch your iPhone or anything like that. Having a dedicated place on my desk where the iPhone and my AirPods live is really nice. Just knowing that, hey, this is where those devices are always at and they're charging on top of that. So they're ready to go when I need them. It's just kind of a nice touch. The last piece is the headphone stand. And this is a tall headphone stand. I like that. Where your headphones rest, there's a nice cushion material. So there's no metal poking into your headband. If you look at like my Audio Technica headphones, you can definitely see where the metal of like headphone stands have been poking into it. Uh, nope, you don't get that with this. It's really nice. And it's tall. So that means you can easily plug in a cable to charge your headphones, whether you're using AirPods Max or those Sony ones that I can never remember the names for. Um, you can easily charge your headphones like that. It's amazing how many headphone stands don't account for charging the headphones while the headphones are on the stand. A quick side note to all this, like this is nothing like Sarah or the people over at Moment could do anything about, but I would love like the next version of AirPods Max or whatever headphones to have like some sort of connector in the headband so that when they're resting on headphone stands like this, they could wirelessly charge. I don't think that would ever happen, but oh boy, would that make it convenient because having a lightning cable on my desk for headphones is kind of eh. Eh. Plus, I always forget to plug them in when they're dead. So let's get into the details of this a little bit. So besides how they work, they look really nice. They're made out of aluminum, the same materials of your MacBook and your iPad, which is really nice. It means they, they match your devices that you're putting on them or setting next to them. It looks really good. And when you're like putting together your desk setup, I'm gonna just go ahead and assume everyone watching this video kind of cares that they have like a nice place to work. Like you don't want a messy place. You probably want a nice place to work and having nice accessories that look good on your desk, um, that goes a long way. Like I know for me, I, I've spent a lot of time like getting my desk to the way I want it. So it's a place I enjoy sitting at working. Now, I've said a few times throughout this video that these are high quality products, and that usually means one thing, they're not cheap. And while these aren't bargain bin prices, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought they would be more expensive than what they are. I do think you're getting a good deal for these prices, especially when you look at something like the iPad stand. I don't know of any other iPad stands on the market that are this adjustable, are magnetic and have a weighted base like this one. So it makes it easy to adjust the iPad at any angle. Plus when you're tapping or drawing on the screen, there's no wobble at all. I don't know of any other iPad stands like that. And I've tried a lot. You can buy all three of these separately or you can buy a bundle together and save a bit of money. Uh, I believe they're all on sale right now. Now that probably won't go on forever. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can go check those out. My thanks to Moment and Sarah for sending me these uh, fantastic products. Seriously, I can't recommend them highly enough. They're, they're great. Uh, and my thanks to NordPass for sponsoring this video. You can go to nordpass.com forward slash Christopher Lolly, and you can get a three month free trial. I will put a link in the description below for that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.